Welcome to my new series on modifying my EX six-speed manual transmission 2015 Honda Fit. Uh, the side mirrors I've already done, the heated side mirror mo modification, that's a well-documented, uh, actually a very practical mod and not terribly expensive. But I'm actually going to go one step further here and discuss on how to install the LED winkers, the little LED blinker that is on the side, outside uh, front of the side mirror. Now this mod is pretty pricey if you think about it, and when you look at the parts, it's uh, really the, the most expensive part is the skull itself, and the reason being is that it's color matched to your car. Now, the skull I was able to get for about $80 US, and that is a pretty expensive piece of plastic, let me tell you. But, again, it's, not, it's a mod if you really wanted to have it. Uh, the reason I'm doing it, well, it's because uh, my car didn't come with it, and I see a lot of cars with winkers these days, and hey, I guess I had a little extra money to blow. But this is a series of videos to help you guys who want to do the same thing as me. Now, the only parts you need to put the LED winkers in, obviously, please refer to my heated side mirrors for the most detailed video and pictures on, my, on the Fit Freak forums for what you need to do for disassembly of the door, snaking wires through. Uh, it is a little involved. I would put the difficulty at about six, uh, 10 being the worst, only because there's a lot of labor involved. Uh, parts wise, it's fairly simple, and I have the two parts right here. So what you're looking at is the EX skull, and just pay attention to this piece on the top here first. There's no cutout for it, but you see a clip here, and then there's another clip here, and then there's two clips on the side, and then there's one in the center. Now what I've done, I've actually purchased the EXL. I'll turn on the light under, uh, over me here. And what I have here is the driver's side LED winker setup. Now this itself is like $45. Uh, well, each side is $45 a piece. It's 12 volts, uh, 4 tenths of a watt. It's pretty stupid low power. And then you have your little connector here. Uh, the basic way to install it, Obviously, you need some self-tapping screws, which you can purchase anywhere at a heart, local hardware store. And the base that, uh, uh, the I, I should say, the mirror base that is on the EX uh, has the holes for these, but it does not, they, they're not tapped. So you're going to need some self-tapping screws, basically. So this is about $45. And the most expensive one here is the LE, I'm sorry, the LED winker skull. And... This is on the EXL. It looks halved because that bottom piece is actually clipped on. And I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you, but it's easy enough to reuse that bottom base and snap onto the EXL. Once you do that, it should fit on there quite easily. Uh, but at least this way, it'll the LED uh, winker will fit like so. And as far as wiring it up, it is very, very simple. I've already added a ground and power wire inside the skull, uh, as I had shown in my previous video series. What you have to do to make the LEDs work properly, one side, uh, it is polarized, so I don't know which one it is. I actually haven't uh, put some test leads on it to see which one's positive, which one's negative. But obviously the negative would go to the black wire ground, which I already have it run through the... Uh, the mirror already and as far as the positive is concerned you can use a very very thin wire I'd say about 18 gauge maybe even uh, 22 gauge if you can you know if you're able to fit it through there I'm probably gonna try 18 gauge here because uh, it does get pretty packed especially on the lane watch side on the right side because of all the extra wires to make that lane watch camera work but uh, you take that wire run it through the mirror run it through the pivot point down through the where it comes out through the door and then up through the uh, between the door and the uh, cabin. There's another that weatherproof um, accordion uh, weatherproof piece. That's a pain in the ass to snake anything through. Once you get it inside the cabin, you then have to go and uh, at least for the left side anyway. There's that other one that I use for my trailer uh, brake controller wire. There's that grommet that's right above the steering column that's got to go through the firewall. And the reason I'm going to do it that way is because I don't know where underneath the control panel, at least the, near the aux fuse panel, where the blinker outputs are. I don't have a schematic here of the 2015 yet. It's, Honda seems to be pretty tight-lipped about it. But the 
easier way to do it is to just run a long wire through the fi through the firewall and over to the front blinkers. Now the front blinkers, if you turn on your front blinkers, well, obviously your LED winkers are going to want to turn on too. And since this is such low power, I don't foresee any problem for it affecting the load uh, since it's run by a relay uh, anyway. I did convert the front uh, blinkers and uh, the running lamps to uh, switchbacks type A. So it's when it's running, it's white LED. And then when you turn on your uh, blinkers, it starts blinking amber on and off. It doesn't alternate between white and uh, amber. That's actually type B. But that's all you really need to do. And obviously for the right side, you have another ground bit behind the uh, air handler for the heat and the air conditioning where I ran the power wire for the uh, heated side mirror relay. Now, please refer to that uh, series of videos for clarification, but basically run another so a separate wire for that and run that to the right side uh, front uh, blinker and that should accomplish the function of the LED winker. So for further information please refer to my uh, forum thread. I'll link it into the description down below uh, once I have a chance to edit the video. And uh, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Always appreciate the questions and the kudos that I get. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. I've always been a you know do-it-yourself person and you know this is a to me, it is a practical mod. I mean, it, hey, it's going to help people see me better with that uh, with that extra blinker on the uh, side mirror. And just for the sake of having it, I kind of just felt left out because everyone else had it, and I didn't. And there you go. <laughs> so have a great one, guys. And I will provide some uh, video, not too much, because I don't want to double up on my previous series with the heated side mirrors, but essentially the disassembly and the assembly is the same. And kind of kicking myself I didn't put these things in when I had the heated side mirrors. I couldn't justify the cost then, but I justified it now, and yeah. So, have a great one. Cheers.